everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 1 with another Sky Factory 101 tutorial video. Last episode, we went over the basics of starting your world. We chopped down our tree. We got a bunch of stuff with our crook. We built out our platform here. Very, very simple, old school skyblock tactics. This episode, though, we're going to get a little bit more into the meat of the pack. Now, it's not written anywhere, but I'm about to tell you the most important thing that you will do early on in your game in a, any skyblock world. And that's going to be building yourself a chest. Now, there's nothing fancy about this chest. This is just a standard vanilla chest. It is eight planks in a crafting table. Gets us that chest. But the important part about this chest is that we can go and we can store some items in it. Basically as a backup. Because it is a long way down there. You will die at the bottom of the void. This is not Sky Factory 4 with the forgiving void where you keep going up and down, you will die down there. Your stuff will be trapped down there as well. Now, it is possible to go and get it, but if you do not have any saplings on you and you do not have a tree on your platform already, you are pretty much out of luck. So early, early on in the game, it makes sense to put a backup sapling, plus, you know, maybe some backup wood, you know, anything that you don't want to lose by an accidental fall down into the void. So a little bit of extra food up there is going to be handy. Uh, any extra tools that you might not need, you know, books that you're not using right at that moment. Keep it, keep it hidden, keep it safe, uh, I believe is the, the terminology for that. So most important thing to think about early on in your game. Next up, though, what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit more into the pack. There is only so far we can go by building out with wood. We need to change this wood into more useful materials. The first useful material we can make out of the resources we have is going to be some more dirt. Dirt is important because it's basically our gateway to cobblestone, which is our gateway to our ores, our others, you know, our sand, our dust, our clay. Everything is going to be coming out of this dirt. Also, we're going to need, you know, dirt for farms. We're going to need dirt for more trees. We're going to need dirt to turn into grass to get some animals to spawn in our world. It's very, very important that we know how to make dirt and you are actually going to spend a lot of time making it. So to make dirt, what we are first going to need is a barrel. Now to make a barrel, it is six planks in a crafting table with one oak slab in that U shape. And then we can go, we can place this pretty much anywhere in our world to make dirt. All we're going to do is take anything organic. I've got a bunch of saplings on me. I'm making sure to keep some extras, you know, backed up just in case I use all of these. If, you know, I'm not paying attention, but we can use things like the apples. We can use things like the worms. We'll eventually be getting string, uh, seeds, things like that. Anything organic can pretty much go into the barrel and will be turned into dirt. Now, I don't want to use my food here. My food is going to be very, very important for keeping me uh, from being hungry. I do have quite a few saplings. I mean, we spent about 10 minutes, you know, chopping down the trees, growing them back up again. We got about a st two and a half stacks of saplings. So yeah, I've got a little bit of saplings that I can burn. But it does take quite a few saplings to make one piece of dirt. I think from this stack of dirt, we could probably make, or sorry, from this stack of saplings, we could probably make about eight dirt, which is not going to get us very, very far, you know, when it comes to making dirt. So what we need is a more available resource. That's going to be tree leaves, or at least it's going to be leaf blocks from trees. Now, if I go and try to break a leaf block, it just disappears. Occasionally I'll get a drop. If I use the crook on it, same thing, the leaf block disappears and I get a better chance of getting a sapling or an apple or a worm or something like that, but not in the amount that we're going to need to make a absolute ton of dirt. To make a ton of dirt, what we're going to have to do is actually shear these leaves. Now, previous packs, there has almost always been an easy way to shear leaves, whether it be a wooden set of shears or a clay set of shears or something along those lines. In Sky Factory 1, Dark Osto has not left us with any easy shears to use. The closest would be the flint shears, which take two flint. We're going to need dirt before we get to the flint anyways. It's not going to be our day one shearing tool. 
big shout out to James from my community. He's a big, big viewer of my videos, has been for a long time. He has pointed out that the comma from Tinker's Construct is probably our best bet when it comes to a sharing tool. Now, to build a comma, we are first going to have to set ourselves up our Tinker Station. So... To make some Tinker Stations, we are first going to need some Tinker's Construct Patterns. These are very, very simple. You are going to need a lot of them. But to make a pattern, it is two planks and two sticks sort of in a cross pattern. Next up, we're going to take two of those patterns and two planks. That's going to get us a part builder. And then we're also going to need a Tinker Station, which is three patterns and four planks in that sort of upside down U shape. And then we're going to go take these items over. We'll just put them right here next to the chest. The first one we're going to need is the Tinker Station, though. That is because we're going to want to know what parts we need to build the comma. So if we click on that tab off to the side there. You can see here are the three pieces we need. We need a small blade, we need a tool binding, and we need a tool handle. It's actually down here as well if you want to look for what they're actually called. Let's go over to the part builder. We're going to put some material in the material slot. And then we're going to put the patterns in the pattern slot. And now you can see all the different things that we can build using this part builder. So we needed a small blade. We needed a tool binding. And then we needed a tool handle. Now, wood is the only material we've got to build with right now. As we get further into the pack, we can make much better parts. That's going to get us much better tools. So we're going to go back to the Tinker Station. We're going to click back on the comma tab. We're going to go put the blade, the binding, the handle, and there we go. We've now made ourselves a wooden comma. So we're going to go hold down the tilde key or the grave key, depending on what you want to call it. And then we're going to go mine. And you see, we break all those blocks at once and we're going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing. Now, this is a wooden tool. You can see it breaks very, very easy. If this was a vanilla tool, when it's broken, we could put it up in our little area. Actually, let's use the wooden crook. And actually, I need some planks. And then we can go take the vanilla tool, put it up there, and it repairs it completely. This does not work with the Tinker's tools. We cannot use just regular planks here. What we're going to do is we actually got to go back to the Tinker station, put the tool in the tool slot, put the materials in the material slot. We can repair it that way. Now I'm not actually going to repair it this way though, because there is something we can build over in the part builder. That's going to allow us to repair this tool on the fly. If I've got a bigger platform, especially if I'm, you know, way, way off in the distance or something like this with the, oh, you know, the wood tool that's going to break after two uses, I don't want to be running back and forth. What we can do is we can build ourselves a repair kit. Now, the repair kit needs to be of the same material of the tool that you're using. So we're going to make a wooden repair kit. And actually, you know what? I've got some extra wood in here. Let's go two, three, four, five. We're just going to put them down in our toolbar down there. I'm going to open it up. Let's say we are down our platform, down at the end, doing something. We got to repair our tool, put it up into our two by two area put one of the repair two kits up there. There we go. We've got a repaired kit. So two ways of doing it. You can use the actual Tinker's table, or you can actually use the repair kit, which is, you know, basically go a long ways to you doing it on the fly. And I'll be honest with you. I forget about these repair kits all the time. I'm constantly running back to the table and doing it there, but that's totally up to you. Now, like I said before, the leaves are a good source of, you know, making dirt. They are very, very good. But there's one more resource in our world that we can compost down to dirt, and that's going to be these logs here. Now, we can't use them as they are, but if we build ourselves a hammer, now the, all I can build is a wooden hammer right now, but it is two sticks on the diagonal and two planks on the diagonal, gets us a wood hammer. We can go and basically hammer the wood, and we turn it into, I call it sawdust, but they're calling it wood chippings. And then we can take these... And we can also use these to compost. Now, you see, I took, I had what, 17? So that took me eight wood chippings. You know, it took me eight leaves. We got about 60 leaves from that tree, whereas we only got about less than 20 wood chippings from that tree. So the leaves are going to be your most economic. The wood chippings are good if you absolutely need to add a little bit more. But you're also wasting, you know, what's going to be very, very important building materials. 
there you go. That is how we get dirt in our world. You're going to be spending a lot of time making it. Next episode, I'm going to show you how to automate this system a little bit so that all you're doing is putting your resources in and you'll get your outputs, you know, normally. But that's going to be for next episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. This is Sky Factory 1 101. If you did, though, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There'll be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stop by to say hi, as well to be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy the channel, if you enjoy this content and you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters, but that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good bye.